Algebra 1 2A study guide numbers 7, 8, and 9. So in this we are solving equations. On number 7, look at what you've got. Notice that you have parentheses on both sides of the equal sign. So the first thing that we want to do is distribute the numbers, multiply across. So 6 times 3 is 18x, 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. 2 times 9 is 18x, 2 times 1 is positive 2. So now you might start to look at, see something strange. We've got variables on both sides and they're both 18x's. So let's move one over by undoing it. So now that becomes 0 and I'll just bring down my negative 12 and positive 2. When you are solving and you get a equation like this, first of all you look and see is it true or not true? Well this is not true. Negative 12 does not equal 2. If you get a statement of equality that is not true then that means that there is no solution. So there's no number that you can put in for x that if you do the math up here that the sides will equal each other. And that's how you will know. Now if you had got a true statement like negative 12 equals negative 12 then that would indicate that there are infinitely many solutions. Any number that you put in for x will make that equation work. Now number 8 we have a proportion and remember that means we've got one fraction equal to another. So that means we can use cross multiplying or cross products. So I'll take 5x times 2 which will give me 10x and then 3 times 4x minus 1. Make sure when you've got an expression something connected with a plus or a minus that you put it together in a parentheses. You have to group it. Now on the right side we'll distribute that 3 multiply it by the 4x which will give us 20 12x and then by the negative 1. Then we can move our x's over, so we'll subtract 12x from both sides. So that'll give us negative 2x equals negative 3. Divide both sides by negative 2 because we're just undoing the math that's being done to the variable. So our answer is positive 5 or 3 halves. Number 9 says write an equation that would have infinitely many solutions for the variable x. <clears throat> so to do that we want to have sides that will, are equal to each other. So if you think about number 7, we could adjust number 7 just a little bit. On the second step, if that had been 18x minus 12, equals 18x minus 12, then that means the sides are equal to each other. It's a true statement and it would have infinitely many solutions. So let's go to the original equation. So remember this side will equal 18x minus 12 and so now I'm going to rewrite this side so it will also be 18x minus 12. So I think 2 times what will give me a negative 12? Well, negative 6. And now let's just check that. I'm going to use a different color. So I'm going to distribute 18x minus 12 equals 18x minus 12. Then if I continue to go through my steps to solve, I will get negative 12 equals negative 12 which is true and means that we have infinitely many solutions.